Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to this card making tutorial. In this demonstration, we're going to make a card using Anna Griffin decoupage from a decoupage kit, which is full of gorgeous florals, and we're going to be using the pink peonies. Everything I use in the demonstration, I'll put a list at the bottom in the description box. And if you've got any comments, please feel free to list them, ask me any questions and I'll be happy to answer them if I can. So we're going to start off with a 7x5 card base. Now I've actually made this myself because I didn't have one in the right colour. I'm going to be doing a tutorial for, to make these in the future so please look out for it and it'll just show you how that I cut and score to make the card. So that's our card base which is 7x5. I'm going to start off and I'm going to add a layer of gold card which I've cut to size and I've already added double sided tape on it. So I'm just going to pop that onto our card. Next I've got a layer of pink card that I'm going to just take off the double sided tape that I've added on the back and then I've made some gold corners that are going to go on our card base basically before we go any further so we'll just take that tape off so I've made four gold corners in matching gold card and I've run them through the embossing machine. I have got a tutorial to show you how to make girl corners. And I think they're a great embellishment to any card. They're quick and easy and you'll be able to use all your scrap paper and card. And make them to coordinate with any project that you're making. So I've simply popped those on and I'm going to add that to the centre of our layer. I'll try and get it a little bit straighter than that. No, it doesn't want to come off. Lift off, there we go. And that's a little bit better. Pop that down. So that's our layer with our corners. The next layer that I've got is gold card again and I've run this through my embossing folder from the garden cuttings range from Anna. I'll put the details at the bottom. So I've already got double sided tape on the back of it and very carefully I'm just going to slide it under the corners that we've put on and then position it about there I would say and then press it down so that's the start of our card base next what I've done is I've taken the decoupage from Anna's kit and I've taken the peonies I've cut out the two base peonies and I've taken away the greenery so because I just wanted the flowers now I want to give you a bit of a tip here when you take out any of the decoupage items they're just held together with very fine nicks of paper to stop them falling out what you can do is either take your scissors to them or take a file to them just to get rid of the nick and to give you a smoother edge. Now once you've got a smoother edge, if you find that you're not quite happy with it, what you can do is take your ink, if you've got an ink in the matching colour, and you can just take it gently round the edge. Some people don't like to see the white edge, so you can literally just turn the edge in, instead of blending away, just lightly tap. This instrument is um, something that I've got, I'm supposed to use it for chalking, but I found it better for inking. So and you just get little 
cotton wool pom poms, and it's a bit alien the way that it pops out and it grabs your pom pom, and then you can use it for inking, blending, chalking, anything like that. But I like to do my edges with them. So, what we've got is two flat peonies and one peony with the decoupage layers. So, first of all, I'm going to put the two flat peonies on, and I've already put 3D foam on the back of them. So, I'm going to pop one at the top of my card, and then I'm going to pop one of the other flat one at the bottom of my card. So, I'll just take the foam off. And I think about there. Now, before I put the large peony on, I've got a sentiment and I want to put that on because I want the peony over the top of the sentiment rather than uh, me putting the sentiment underneath it. You'll see what I mean as we go along. So I'll just feel, peel the back of the base off and I want it to about there so I'm just going to place the base there and then I've got a vellum sticker that I've matte and layered onto gold card and then I've made another layer of the gold card because the vellum slightly tints the gold so it's a little bit dull so I made another layer and I'm going to place that not in the centre of our layer, but just slightly to one side. So, I don't know if you can see that. So, it's more to this side and we've got a hangover edge there. So, the next thing I'm going to do is add our large peony. So, I'll just take off the 3D foam. And this large peony will cover up that unsightly edge that we've left too much for. And we're just going to literally place it in the centre between the two outside ones. So now you can see how I wanted it over the sentiment in the middle rather than placing the sentiment after we've done it so that you get the extra height. Now the last thing that I've got is I've got some gold satin ribbon and I've added a gold button from my own stash. I'm sure you've got lots of items in your own stash that you'd be able to use. And I'm going to just get a glue dot and pop that onto my card like that. And I'm going to place that above our sentiment like that. And that finishes off our card perfectly. I do hope you've enjoyed this demonstration. If so, please give me the thumbs up and why not subscribe to my channel. Don't forget, if you've got any queries or comments, please leave me a message and I'll get back to you. Thank you so much. See you next time.